read the Bible, don't you? What's that? You read the Bible, don't you? I do. So you're aware of the story of Jonathan and David, right? I am. So. I just I just preached through First Samuel actually, and uh, uh, yeah, spent a lot of time on that. So I was wondering, whenever David says that he loved Jonathan more than the love of a woman, mm -hmm. wouldn't I don't know about you guys, but that seems kind of gay to me. <laughs> and so, David's the beloved of God. So, wouldn't that mean that, wouldn't that go for all homosexuals then? Okay, I was distracted by the lights. Could you repeat the last part of your question? So, that, seeing as David did marry a woman, wouldn't that make him bisexual? And if he was beloved of God... Wouldn't that mean that all gay okay. people are beloved of God too? Okay, um, David. David was David is described as a man after God's own heart, but as it describes in Second Samuel, he was also uh, capable of uh, very marked sins, like the murder of Uriah and the and the adultery with Bathsheba. So that that's one thing. I don't I don't happen to believe that Jonathan and David had a homosexual relationship, but. It's not, it's not like it's unthinkable. It's not like it couldn't have happened. If it happened, then I would list it with David's other sins, which were significant. So we have another terrible response from Doug Wilson. And uh, I want to deal with this because I believe the way he responded to this question actually gave the woman asking the question a grounds to possibly be right. It's almost on the, the grounds of blasphemy, the way he responded to this question. He kind of responded in a way where he said, well, maybe, let's just say he did have sexual relations. We'll just put that in the multitude of sins that David has committed, and we'll leave it at that. That's wrong. That's blasphemy, okay? And that's and it's wrong because you're misinterpreting Scripture to, to, to possibly mean something that it never intended to mean. David, David and Jonathan's relationship had nothing to do with homosexuality at all, and I'm going to go ahead and explain why that is. Now, when we look at the verse, specifically 2 Samuel 126, I'm going to go ahead and read that verse. Uh, this is David speaking. I am distressed for you, my brother Jonathan. You have been very pleasant to me. Your love to me was wonderful, surpassing the love of women. Now, I want to go ahead and explain what this really means. Now, in order to do that, we need to have a little background on the context and the setting in which this verse is derived from. As you all should know, uh, Jonathan was the son of King Saul. Now, King Saul, Saul was the first king of Israel, and Jonathan was his son. And if you know the story, you know that uh, King Saul used David to go forth and slay the giant Goliath. And now when this happened, when David killed Goliath, David's fame rose greater than Saul. His, his popularity, his fame, it rose greater, okay? And because of that, King Saul became jealous, envious, and it angered him to such a degree that he wanted David's head. He wanted to kill David. And so this setting is David is hiding. He's on the run. He's hiding from Saul and his men. And he's sleeping in different caves and he's sleeping in different areas. And his greatest ally, his greatest friend is none other than Saul's son, Jonathan. Jonathan didn't have to do this. Jonathan, and, and, and the way you have to look at it is, is no one helped David in this situation more than Jonathan. But at the same time, Jonathan was Saul's son. So he it's kind of like he was in the middle. He wanted to appease and honor his father as king, but he also wanted to help save his best friend, David. He didn't want his father to kill David. And so in a lot of ways, you could say he betrayed his father for the sake of David. And so that's where I see that when you look at the verse, 2 Samuel 126, when David says, the, the surpassing love of women. You know, these men were warriors. They were on the battlefield. And it's something, it was something for Jonathan to do what he did to David. It made David, it, not in a homosexual way, not in a homosexual way, but much like men in uh, who fought in the uh, the Afghan war, the, uh, the, the you know, the, the um, Iraqi war in, in the early 2000s, the camaraderie, the brotherhood. It was this you're my brother. I love you. You know, and in a lot of ways I take David saying the surpassing love of women as him saying what you've done for me, what you've done by going against your father and protecting me against the wages of your father is more loving and more honorable than any woman I've ever had in my life. I think that's more along the lines of what's going on because it wasn't homosexuality. It wasn't it wasn't like they were secretly sleeping with each other. That's just wrong. Why is it wrong? Because God makes it clear in um God makes it clear that 
the laying together of two men is an abomination. And so therefore, we know that David was a man after God's own heart. And he wasn't a man that would do anything to that degree to, to dishonor the Lord. So it wasn't homosexual. It was a, a, a loving brotherhood, two brothers on the war, on the, the battlegrounds together, doing things uh, like like what Jonathan did for, for David, possibly betraying his own father to protect his brother. So um, I hate the way Doug Wilson responded to this question because he, he left it open-ended and, and possibly gave the young lady uh, a foothold and in, in interpreting it as being a homosexual enc encounter. And that's not what it was. So I hope I explained that. It's a lot to go over. But again, I'm going to keep on pumping these out because I, I love doing this. This is, this is interesting. So thank you for listening and thank you all for who subscribed to my channel.